living in an apartment. Now, back when I was living with him, he had a busted up Chevy Chevy Tahoe. He remember that black Tahoe, but he used to get them A to B. You get those both A to B. Yeah, anyway. yeah. So I and then I walked in his apartment, got a little fish tank with the little fish that hit each other in the head and stuff. Oh, I'm like, yeah. okay, you, you know, you coming up. And that's when he told me, he was like, yeah, you know, I just started fooling with, um, it wasn't even Young Money back then. It was, uh, I think it was Squad or something like that. Squad up or something like that. Mm. Yeah, it, it was. Could've, it could have been Young Money, but it could have been like the very, very beginning first, yeah. stages of it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Jonathan Bender, he got drafted out of high school. I don't, I don't know if you ever heard of him. Yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely, when I was looking looking you up, I, yeah. I, I, I seen that. Um, and, and you and him pretty close. Yeah, that, that's 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 who got me started on the music. Yeah. So, so I ended up bringing the keyboard home to my grandma's house. That's where I was living. And he was there visiting for All-Star Weekend, and I played the beat for him. He was like, man, you made that? He's like, man, I'm from the start a record label. He said, you going to be my beat, man. And he really did start the start record label. And KLC was his beat man. Really? KLC yeah, was? Yeah, KLC that's was a big man. move. So he, he basically. Well, that's, a, that's who would mix and record most of our music until he got crack tracks. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Uh, his name Law. He with Rock Nation now. But that's okay. who I was shadowing up under him uh -huh. and a guy named uh, IG, which ATL Jacob is signed to him now. Okay. So fast forward, I'm shadowing up under producers. That nice producers. Went on to be not no shabby producer. But, and then Mac Main. I was living with Mac Main. So these guys. You live with Mac Main before all the Young Money stuff, all this stuff. Bro. Man. How did you meet him? My cousin in the, in the NBA, Mac Main had a little song on the radio in New Orleans. He was gonna sign him to his label, but mm. I think Mac Main wanted like a hundred grand. He knew my cousin had it. He from New Orleans, you know, he was <laughs> a little smart on the business sense. We from Piggy you know, I'm finna get try to get a hundred bands out of him. I got a song on the radio. My cousin didn't want to do it, but during that whole incubator stage, he was doing music with us and stuff. He was living in my cousin condo with me. Like, Mac yeah. Main, I met him one night at the Palms Hotel. Man, I never forget man, look, it. We he talked just and chopped it up. His number. Did you? He, he been had the same number like twenty years. He just changed the number. Why would he do that after having it so long? I'm pretty sure he had other numbers, but like, like if you had that number, you was you able to contact up, up until probably about two, three months ago. Yeah. <laughs> you got the new number. Nah, I ain't got the new number. Yet. I ain't, <laughs> even, right I ain't right asking for the new number. Yeah, that's my boy. But I ain't asking for the new number, or nothing like that. Um, he can reach him if he needs to reach. Him. I mean, I just inbox him. Most of the time, we just talk on Instagram through the inbox. Uh, inbox. Yeah, yeah. Up until he changed the number, he had a. Um, Miami number back the last time I had went to Miami and pulled up on him, but I ain't, I ain't had it. So you seen him when he went to uh, Young Money and all I that seen stuff everything. happened? What all was the, Were you proud of him when he well, went to Young Money? It was one of the most inspiring things because it's somebody I know. Like, I, I used to live with you, bro. We pulled up to Xavier University in one of my cousin's cars every day. Like, that was our everyday thing. Yeah. My cousin in Indiana, he had 14 cars in the mansion next door. I got the keys to the mansion. With mm -hmm. all the cars, you feel me? Sorry, cuz you probably didn't never know. Go put you it feel out what I'm saying? We just grabbing a car, going to Xavier, and that's what uh, Mac Man would go over there and rap. Mm -hmm. And like, he'll, he'll just start freestyling, and everybody the crowd around us, bro. Like, wow. he, he was that good. What? He the only one rapping. Everybody just standing around, just listening to him rap, bro. Everybody, I'm like, I'm sitting like, that's my boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 your boy. <laughs> but uh, he, would, he would have me around like all the. um. Like Super Blanca, uh, Jay Gutter, all them that you know that Wayne had signed. Yeah, it was his real partners and stuff. They shooting basketball and stuff. I didn't know at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, well, actually, you couldn't own it at the time because they didn't they have didn't formulate yet. Yeah, they hadn't formulated yet. So when you when you see him formulate, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail on it, but you when you see him make that move, did you feel like 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 he got a good deal on the move when he made it? Because he became the president of it. But he was just so smart. Like I learned a lot of stuff from Mac Main just a little time. We was, you know what I'm saying, live together just on as far as the business sense. You know what I'm saying? Like he could have signed to this NBA player and had every where well, we had everything. We had every all the chains, we had all the cars, we had everything. The, from the looks, it, it would have been it. But he knew, like, you feel those? He knew something, something else. Greater. You feel what I'm saying? Like, uh, he could have went a whole different direction. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? He knew something great. You feel me? You feel me? But, he uh, felt something. Yeah, uh, that, that it was just crazy to see. I remember going and visiting him and uh, after I had I had moved back from New Orleans, I had moved to uh, Mississippi, and I went back and visited him in New Orleans, and he, he had, like, a Magnum on some 20, 24s, 22s or something. And he had another car on some 22s or something. And he was uh, living in an apartment. Now, 
Back when I was living with him, he had a busted up Chevy Chevy Tahoe. He remember that black Tahoe, but he used to get him A to B. You get us both A to B. But yeah, anyway. yeah. So I and then I walked in his apartment. He got a little fish tank with the little fish that hit each other in their head and stuff. Oh, I'm like, yeah. okay, you, you know, he coming up. And that's when he told me he was like, yeah, you know, I just started fooling with. Um, it wasn't even Young Money back then. It was uh. I think it was Squad or something like that. Squad up or something like that. Yeah, it, it was. Could've, it could have been Young Money, but it could have been like the very, very beginning first, yeah. stages of it. And I'm like, I, I, I congratulate because Wayne was already like one of the biggest stars on yeah. the planet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you know whatever he got going on for it to be huge it's too. It's huge. And that was, just, the, that was the peak of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. just from there, just seeing it just just go crazy. And I'm, I'm seeing it, watching them on 106 and Parks. I'm watching them. Like, bro, I was just living with how did How much did that inspire your, your, your uh, drive? A hundred percent. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.